spots. We also got a new leader in total weight for 11.75 pounds. Great job, guys. Great job. Great job, guys. Appreciate it. Let's get the fish overboard, get your boat moved, come back, get some hot dogs and hamburgers. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. No fucking hand, no fucking hand. I don't fucking have it all this way. Sorry, John. No problem. Proud of it. And also TWT and also for the most spots. Great job today, guys. Great job. We'll get them fish released. And I hate, I want to knock on wood right now, but in four years, we've only had two dead fish and and we've been we've been very lucky. I mean, we have a great, great catch and release uh, record. You need this box, let me see if I can find one. That, that's some pretty fish right there. That's, look at the colors on that fish and there's some big old fat pigs. Great job today, guys, great job, great job. These two. Look how pretty they look together. They've been on stage more than Ozzy and Harriet. Guys, been fishing with us for a long time. Ever since we started out, uh, Cape Lookout Redfish Challenge out of Calico Jacks, and uh, and Desmond Proud to welcome to the stage for the first time, winning the first place prize. Team Real Truth with Captain Travis Tobin and his partner Kyle Tobin with 13.90 pounds, $1,500, a couple of flats, and a power pole. I hope you have enjoyed the first Redfish Action Tournament highlights of 2011. I definitely wanted to get this interview in with Travis and Kyle Tobin, winner of today's tournament. These guys are special to me because the first time they fished in this area, they hired me as a guide. And I've got fond memories of that. And y'all have come such a long way. You fished every single one of these Redfish Action Tournaments, and today you are finishing up in first place. Not just first place for the tournament, but first place tournament within a tournament for the big fish. And Kyle, once again, takes first place for the youth angler. That's just magnificent. I'm going to give you guys a chance to talk a little bit about your sponsors and a little bit about your day of fishing. What was the day of fishing like today? Well, it, it started out slow and we caught uh, two, uh, two small fish, but around 2 o'clock we caught the, the biggest fish and then we went to a spot to uh, fish for about 15 minutes. And, Kyle wound up catching that biggest fish to put us in the, in the top spot, so we decided to bring that fish in. Kyle, what did it feel like catching that big fish today? It was awesome. It was something I'll never forget. It was in the last few minutes, uh, but it, it was a great feeling for sure. Talk to us a little bit about one of your major sponsors, Real Truth. Well, uh, basically, uh, John 14 6 is a passage that's special to us. I'm, I'm a pastor who teaches that uh, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So basically, we uh, try to share our faith as we uh, as we fish together. Also, we have uh, sponsors with fins, and we appreciate their help. And then uh, Matt and Ray Lamb and Chase and Tails out there for a big help. Fellas, congratulations again on your first place finish. Thank you very Certainly much. Certainly puts a smile on my face. Look at the colors on this fish. That's pretty fish right there. Pretty, pretty fish. North Carolina redfish right there at its best. Jason, the Raleigh Rock Bay gets a hundred dollar contingency prize. We're back here at Redfish Action at the second Challenge Cup of the 2011 series in Tyke Creek Marina in Beaufort. You know, today was a great day on the water for our competitors. 95% uh, of our vessels caught fish today, of our teams caught fish and weighed in great numbers and great looking fish. And, uh, well, it started out pretty uh, hot to start with. Uh, first cast, I mean, we 
switched to top water and fish on, and then Drew threw in right behind me, got another one on top water. Um, we did we did that for about four or five casts in a row, and uh, the fish moved on us. They came back on the flat that we started at, and we popped about three or four more fish, and then we decided we had beat on those fish enough, decided to come on back and fish a different area right here around the checkout. Uh, Drew caught one more fish today, right before we had to come in on a spinner bait. But uh, we never did upgrade, but we finished third place, a little bit over 12 pounds, so we're happy with the day. And always uh, enjoy fishing your series, Redfish Action Series. So you people at home that have not fished Redfish Action or Redfish tournaments and want to get involved, this is the tournament to fish. Lee, Lee Willis runs a quality tournament, feeds us. Um, I mean, I just can't say enough things, good things about you and your series, Lee. Thank you for this. Welcome back to the show. This is Captain Brian Goodwin, and I'm on the phone with Captain Lee Willis of the Redfish Action Challenge. Captain Lee, how are you today? Brian, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. I hope you are. Yeah, I, was, I wish we had had time to uh, get together in person, Lee, but, um, but, but talking on the phone is the next best thing. And tell us a little bit about the beginnings of the Redfish Action Challenge tournament. In 2007, uh, our inaugural year, we uh, commenced all of our. Um, we commenced a season uh, at Calico Jacks Marina out of Harker's Island. Uh, growing up down east, you know, uh, just it just seemed like the place to start. And from then we grew, and from our venues grew. We needed bigger uh, areas and events locations to uh, host our events. And um, for the last four years, we have hosted our events uh, out of Town Creek Marina with um, Steve Tulevich and and those his gang of uh, welcome us open arms and now we're moving uh 2012 we're going to start our series in wilmington north carolina april 28th then we're going to snakes ferry june 23rd and back to uh beaufort august 4th for challenge cup three in our series championship lee it seems like a natural progression to expand the the tournament into venues up and down the coast of north carolina being you know the 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 fishermen that make up the tournament field are from all over the state of North Carolina. Talk a little bit about how we bring bring in folks from all over. You know, not only are we bringing in uh, competitors from um, all over, you know, eastern North Carolina, but we're bringing in guys from, um, you know, Raleigh, Durham area, uh, Pequa, Verena, uh, Greenville, Winterville, all over eastern North Carolina, and also, um, you know, around our state's capital area. We're getting guys from South Carolina, uh, Virginia, Tennessee. And we even had a team from Iowa come in and fish with us. And, you know, uh, the Crystal Coast, you know, where we've held our events for the last four years, um, it's a great fishing venue. But with all our competitors spread out here and spread out there, uh, we're the only redfish tournament series in North Carolina. And North Carolina um, is a fishing mecca. And going down to Wilmington and then coming back up for a championship um, in Beaufort in August and stopping the Sneeze Ferry along the way. I mean, these are hot spots. Great redfish venues. Uh, it's going to be spectacular this year. And to grow as a series, you know, I felt like it was important that we move around and become a trail, um, you know, in the sense that having different venues. So I've got a lot of positive feedback from this. Um, I expect we're going to have some growing pains just because um, just moving around and getting the word out and, you know, and, and being on great shows like yours, that's going to help us. That's going to help us grow. And, and thank you for uh, being a part of our Redfish Action since uh, our first season. Sure thing, Lee. And I will certainly be fishing the tournament again this year.